What is up guys, my name is Premium Method, and today we're going to be playing some Fallout Shelter, which is the first time I've played on my computer. So we're going to have to make a new vault here, and let's uh, choose our name, 260, let's create this vault, and um, congratulations, the vault has selected you to be the Overseer of Vault 260, um, blah blah blah, let's not read all that because I'm bored but some of you guys might want to know how I'm playing this game on my computer and I'm using Bluestacks which is a really cool program you can go ahead and download it just google it download it it's really easy to set up and basically it turns your computer into like a tablet Android thing and it's really cool you can download Clash and all those Android games so um, I have a new webcam and it actually looks really nice but like I'm recording with OBS which is a little different so everything's live and already like put together so I don't have to edit in Sony Vegas so it might be a little different than usual. Anyways, let's get back to Fallout Shelter. So we have Lewis, he's bald, kind of ugly. We have uh, Teresa and Brian, Anthony, Charlotte, um, yeah that word, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, and Ralph, he looks cool, he's a mohawk. And, um, we're gonna have to, I don't, what do we do? We, okay, so we need to build a living quarter. And I forgot I turned tips off because they're just annoying, so I just kind of get to figure this out on my own. So we're just gonna put them in there for no reason. And then, um, we're gonna need a power generator. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna need some food. We need to keep our people fed. And then water treatment, that'll be the last thing we build here. So when you first start out, all these rooms can go three wide as a max. So you can put three of these water treatment rooms side by side and they'll become one big room, kind of like this vault. So that's why I'm keeping these all separated and not having like this one right next to the that, that place of places where that bald guy is. So I'm keeping them separate so I can eventually expand. So first of all, we're gonna try to find where she's strongest at. So she has, she's not too good at much. So um, we're just gonna put her in power, or what is that, water? Okay, so that's water. Um, this guy, we're gonna find a place for him to go. He's not really good at anything. We'll just put him in electricity. Electricity is one of the most important things to do at first because if you don't have electricity, you can't do any of your other things. So these rooms will turn dark and shut down and we have a new person. His name is Eric, and he's also bald and quite ugly, kind of like uh, Lewis. So maybe uh, Eric and Lewis are like brothers of some sort. Let's see if he's good at anything. And um, no, he's absolutely useless. And um, we're gonna try to find a place for him to go. We'll put him in the electric plant. Oh, sweet! I've assigned two dwellers. Oh no, I assigned one. As soon as I assign two, I'll get. Oh, sweet! He's good at water okay now we're gonna get this thing and we want to claim all of our caps and the more caps you have more things you can buy and there's a lot of stuff here you can buy once you get more dwellers you can build cooler things like garden nuclear reactor and all these things just help out your base okay so this person okay he can make food that's all he's good for. Um, this person, he can make food too. We have more people. Um, not, okay, so she's useless. We need more places to build. So um, I'm gonna expand our electricity plant because that's the most important right now. So, oh, I'm, I just clicked out of my screen. Okay, so we're gonna put electricity there. And as you can see, it's a two wide room. Now we're gonna put this lady in there regardless if she's good at it or not and um this guy up here we're just gonna let him explore and get us some weapons okay so lewis apparently is really good strength which i didn't notice so i'm um, actually we should put him in here yeah let's see if we can find someone else that's not as important um he, he's not too good we'll put eric his brother out there okay eric you're gonna go on a trip and possibly die we're just gonna put him out there and um, if you have these healing packs which you can eventually make rooms to make these you can send him out with a few and it'll basically be able to heal him while he's out there searching for stuff and um, he's gonna go explore so he's gonna run out of there and go up the elevators just run out of there search for stuff it's kind of cool so basically once you send him out there you can recall him after however much time you want 
but you have to be careful because he can die and get injured out there, so you need to count, like constantly monitor him and make sure that he's still alive and has a decent amount of health back. And on the return trip, it will usually take the same amount of time as it took to get him to that point. So if he's out there for an hour, it'll take him an hour to get back. And um, you are able to get like dogs and cats that will increase the return time. So if they're out for like an hour, they'll be back in 15 minutes, stuff like that. So that's really cool, but for now, he's going out there with nothing special. And um, you're able to see what he says. He's like this little log, and it looks like we have a new person here. We have Marilyn. And um, she comes in with a jacket. That's cool. Those actually help her in certain areas, those like jackets. And um, let's see what she's good at. Uh, nothing. We'll just put her up there. Oh. We are full. We need to create another living quarters place. Okay, so we're gonna put her in there. And um, we need her to get pregnant and fat, so we're gonna send, let's see. Uh, this, no, I'm seeing who is the best charisma. Okay, none of these guys. So to make uh, your dwellers like breed and make more dwellers, you need to put a guy and a girl in the same room. Unfortunately, it doesn't work if you put two girls. I mean, for some reason, it just doesn't work. I don't really know why, but basically, you put these two in there, and they're going to breed. They're going to have some interesting talking, and I'm not going to zoom in because I can't zoom back out once I'm zoomed in on blue stacks for now. I haven't figured that out, but... Basically, if you zoom in, you're able to see everyone talking, and they do have conversations. And um, let's see what we unlocked here. I thought, oh no, nothing. Thought I unlocked something. Okay, apparently not. So let's go back and see what this guy's been talking about. Okay, so he ran to a slave, and um, the slave was shot. He couldn't help him out. Here in one XP, that's wonderful. So if I wanted, I could recall him, and he'll be back here in three minutes. But he hasn't found anything, so it's not worth it. And um, Eric. Eric, you're doing a good job out there. Just keep running. Okay, so I decided to zoom in, and um, I just hope I'll be able to zoom out, because I really want to show you guys what you'll see once these guys are in here. So they're just going to kind of like flirt around, and you'll be able to see their text of what they're saying, and then um, they're going to flirt around for a while, and then they're going to dance, and then they're going to run back to that back room right there, and then you're going to see smiley faces, hence they're breeding, and you're going to have new dweller suit. So that's kind of cool. And then, um, okay, we zoomed out. Double click. Oh, we have a new person, Alice. Okay, Alice is good at electricity stuff, but that dude's better. Um, she's gonna help her out in the water place, and uh, let's see what else we can build here. So, what else are we running low on? Let's just make this power room three wide. Oh, we're poor, apparently. Okay, water treatment. We can do water. I tend to run out of water a lot, so we'll expand that for no reason, just to make this place look bigger. And, uh, oh, we're running out of electricity. 